Do you know how to factor polynomials? Well, before we can factor polynomials, you have to remember what a factor actually is. So let's think about factors. Factors are values that are multiplied together to equal a product. So if I have a times b equals c, I can say that a and b are both factors of c. We can do another example. Let's say I have b times d is equal to e. Again, I can say that b and d are the factors of e. In earlier math, you've also learned how to factor numbers. So let's take the number 48. We can factor it with 6 times 8. We can factor it with 12 times 4. We can factor it with 48 times 1. We can factor it with 24 times 2. And we can factor it with 16 times 3. Each of these values are factors of 48. Now let's look at factoring polynomials. Here's a polynomial, 16x minus 30. Now to factor this polynomial, we have to look for any values or variables that are in common between the terms. So the terms in this case are 16x and 30. Now we know that 2 can go into 16 and 2 can go into 30. So we can factor 2 out of this polynomial. When we take 2 out of 16x, we're left with 8x. When we take 2 out of 30, we're left with 15. This is how to factor this polynomial. Let's look at another one. 20y minus 5. So we can look at the factors of 20 and 5. What are factors that they have in common? 5 is the obvious factor. So let's take 5 out of the polynomial. It leaves us with 4y minus 1. Now we have factored this polynomial. Take a look at this polynomial. 6x squared plus 3x plus 3. Now we have three terms to look at. We look at this term, we look at this term, and we look at this term. And we look for any common factors. 3 is a common factor. Let's factor that out. That leaves us with 2x squared plus x. 3 divided by 3, it leaves us with 1. This is how we can factor this polynomial. Let's look at one that's a little bit harder. Here we have 9x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x plus 6xy. Now first, we can look at the coefficients, remember the number part of the term, and see if there's a value that all of these have in common. They have in common the factor 3, so we can take that out. But our work isn't done yet, because each one of these also has an x. So we can take 1x out of each of these terms. Now we're left with 3x squared minus, oh, we already factored out the 3, so we're left with an x only here, plus, oh, we took out the whole term here, we factored 3x, so it's 1, and in this one, we factor 3x out of 6xy, we are left with 2y. Our work is now complete.